Saw Tyson Veidt tonight at the Anna game, doing a little scouting for Toledo. His former team, Bluffton University Football, still in search of its first victory of the season. The Beavers showed a lot of toughness in their first two games of the season against Ohio Wesleyan and Baldwin Wallace, but came up a little short in both contests. This week, another tough opponent, the four-time defending HCAC champions, the Franklin Grizzlies. Matt Finkel has more on the Beavers as Denny Doral and company are coming off a bye in a very positive week of practice. It went well. It went well. You know, as good as bye weeks can be. You know, they either are going to go very, very well or you know, extremely poor, depending on how well our team reacts. I think we made uh, some big steps in the bye week. Uh, we had some injuries, and we had guys get healed up this week, so we should be ready to roll for Franklin. We're so young in our program right now that our guys took it as an opportunity to really step back and kind of reevaluate who we are and, and go over some techniques that we worked on in camp that uh, as you got into game week, you really couldn't go back and focus on. So it was huge for us as that standpoint as a program that we could go back and refocus and, and get better. Over the course of the past week, Coach Doro helped return the attention to fundamentals. Our guys just learning how to play football. Uh, you know, it's crazy to think these guys have been playing it their whole entire life. But, uh, you know, there's things that I think, you know, as a coaching staff, you kind of take for granted sometimes that maybe our guys know. And it's great to see them all of a sudden, wow, you know, the light bulb comes on and they say uh, now they finally get it. They kind of understand, you know, and once that light bulb comes on and it continually comes on over the whole entire team, you know, it's a great thing to see. The Beavers were able to shine and show flashes of excellence at times in both weeks one and two. Quarterback Nick Sheehan really seemed to get into a groove in Bluffton's last game, completing 23 of 41 passes for 222 yards and two scores. And back in week one, running back Eric Fox rushed for a career-high 221 yards and two touchdowns. To repeat those successes at the skill positions, the Beavers are focused in the trenches. I'm just uh, maintaining blocks up front. It all starts with the line on the offense, so... Uh... We get blocks up front, we're going to make plays. Tomorrow, the Beavers take on Franklin. Despite their recent dominance in the conference, the Grizzlies are 1-2 and two this season, and the Beavers beat them last year. We watched the tape a little bit from last year, but uh, we got a whole new coaching staff, and we changed a lot of stuff up, so we're moving forward and looking to get a W this Saturday. Yeah, they're good. Uh, they're very, very good. You know, they've been the top dog in the conference for a while now. There's no question about it. But it always goes back to us. You know, if we go go back and we can tackle very well, we can take care of our assignments both offensively and defensively and not turn the ball over on offense, if we can do those things, we'll be uh, successful on Saturday. In Bluffton, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.